morning internet. Today is the 29th of March, my third day in the wonderful town of Badapaha. Going to do some lizard spotting, but first, it's time to fill the tummy up. Simple traditional breakfast of bihun sotol and soft boiled eggs. Not gonna stuff myself silly as a long walk is lined up shortly. The Pengram Waterfront Park is located at the northwestern part of the main town area beside the BP River. Was told crocodiles can be spotted here if I'm lucky. Not so lucky today, Constellation is spotting lots of monitor lizards. My lifelong dream to boop a wild crocodile just has to be fulfilled another place, another time. These water monitor lizards can grow up to 3 meters in length, but the ones I saw here are mostly around a meter in length. Guess Papa and Mama Lizzie's are out hunting. Time to leave the lizards alone and carry on my morning walk. Lots of beautiful and huge wall murals here, photo taking time. A pelican, monkey, monitor Lizzie and a tiger are painted on the back of this building. Beautiful. I'd have seen the first three. Are there tigers around Badapaha? Almost lunchtime, my smart move of eating a light breakfast has resulted in near starvation and a collapse of blood sugar. Time to rectify the crisis on hand. This decades-old shop is famous for its classic tasting wanton me. For me, I'm starving now and anything tastes good when you are hungry. After a short rest at the hotel, it is time to ride the wee strom out, go into a Taoist temple outside town area, and it is just a hot a day to walk there. As in almost all my trips, Google Map will lead me to a cemetery, this time a huge one, helping me choose a prime piece of real estate for the future perhaps. Finally, after 15 minutes going in circles in the huge cemetery, the wee took me safely to the temple at Mid-Hill. Off peak hours and it's really quiet at this part of the town. Thunderstorms with very strong winds has been forecasted in the afternoon. Let me pray hard that I reach back to the main town area before the rain gods start work. Can literally smell the huge storm coming our way in the air. Let's take a quick walk around the temple and make a swift descent back to town area 10 kilometers away. Saw a beautiful huge coffee themed wall mural on the ride back and snap a few quick shots with my wee in the foreground. Finally, heavy rain gashed down just as I was parking the bike outside the famous Soon Lei restaurant. Just in the nick of time to escape the torrential downpour. Amidst fallen chairs and plants dragged off by the typhoon level wind, I was enjoying the delicious lunch of Kuei Chap. This dish is centered around offals. I am not a lover, but it was still delicious without. Retreated back to the hotel for an early last night in the town of BP. The time is 7 a.m. Up early for my routine morning coffee, and BP does have very good coffee. Slightly bitter, and just the way I like my traditional Nanyang coffee. After coffee, took a two hours long stroll around the still sleepy town. Early chicken rice lunch today, as I plan to leave way before noon. Highly recommended Hainanese chicken rice served at this popular shop in BP, 11 a.m. Hotel checked out and proceeded to a temple deep in plantations estates. What was interesting about this secluded temple was the location, which was the intersection point of three rivers to the north of BP town. Quite a serene and beautiful place really. And with that, my BP trip has come to an end. Half an hour later, was left marooned at the roadside in a torrential downpour. A wet ending to an otherwise delightful for days stay in BP. Thanks for viewing the video. If you have enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again soon on our next road trip.